questions? So, um, well, I believe most of the attendees are very much aware of the Optimax project. Um, and I will not spend a lot of time, I will not bore you with all the details. Uh, but globally, it is an ITN project, so what we call Innovative Training Network. It's uh, fully funded by the European Commission and it comprises four partners, uh, including, of course, RISC and uh, our other major industrial partner, Airbus. Uh, two universities are also part of the program, and that's University of Nottingham and also um, the University of Porto. Uh, the part of the project is with regard to efficient multi multidisciplinary design optimization of multifunctional aerospace composites. Uh, and uh, we are dealing with several different aspects of multifunctional optimization. So we uh, we'll be talking about these aspects later on today and tomorrow, but I can very briefly introduce you what the project is about. Well, first of all, it's belonging to a certain precise category called European Industrial Doctorate. This is a subgroup of what I just mentioned, ITNs, okay? And as the name implies, it's all about connecting industry with the academia. So uh, we do have five researchers directly employed in the project, and all of them need to have a contract with the industry for a few months, for 18 months actually, and, they, and be engaged to do a PhD in academia, which uh, makes that a very multidisciplinary experience for them. And this is actually the target that the European Commission has for these projects. Um, we are very lucky to be here today because it's, it's quite competitive as, as a proposal process. Uh, there are many people applying for this project, so uh, the success rate is under 10%. So we're very lucky to have our researchers here with us. Great, so uh, the five different axes on which Optimax is working has to do with the multi-scale optimization of aerospace composites, uh, advanced layering optimization of aerospace, aerospace composite structures, advanced failure models for aerospace composites, um, optimization algor algorithms that may accelerate further the process um, of this optimization, as well as including advanced manufacturing models and criteria as early as possible within the design process, um, which is a major target for the modern aerospace industry. The goal is very straightforward, so um, before we determine the actual layering of a certain composite structure, let's say uh, belonging to a wing of an aircraft, we need to find out how this decision is informed by failure criteria, how it is informed by manufacturing criteria, and what is the actual process, what is a, a fast, uh, effective and efficient optimization process for determining the final final blending of this kind of layered composites. Um, the project is split into different work packages. Two of these work packages have more to do with developing more um, more efficient optimization criteria and more efficient constraints for, for this process, uh, mainly related to manufacturing as well as performance-based optimization, uh, while the third work package has to do with maximizing the efficiency. So we're trying to uh, see if different algorithms or different processes can increase the efficiency of this computational process. Of course, we do have a lot of training to do. Uh, obviously, COVID has affected this training quite a lot, so our ESRs are not able to meet with each other nowadays. They're not able to attend conferences. They're not able sometimes to, to see their supervisors, but obviously we're trying to replace everything with online training uh, packages, like what we're doing over these two days. Dissemination outreach is very important in this kind of projects because we need to let the community know about what we're doing. Uh, and obviously the short course that we're attending uh, today and tomorrow is part of this dissemination and outreach process. I understand that this will be recorded, so for anyone interested in entering this field, um, they will be able to watch these presentations and get an idea about what we have been doing in this project. <clears throat> So the five researchers, uh, also called ESRs, standing for early stage researchers, um, are George, working on um, optimal blending of aerospace structures. Giuseppe is working on new failure 
criteria for aerospace structures. Neoclis is working on manufacturing informed optimization of uh, composite structures. Uh, Massimo is working on global local approaches, new global local approaches, uh, again, for, for uh, complex aerospace composites, while Weiji is working on the overall platform trying to maximize the efficiency of the computational optimization process. These guys will be online, okay, today and tomorrow, uh, I guess most of the time, so if you would like to have a chat with them, uh, please do feel free to directly message them. Um, we do have, as I mentioned, a lot of outreach activities planned and also some secondments. Um, obviously, these have also been affected by COVID, so we were not able to send out the ESRs to work uh, with our partners, with our envisaged partners. Uh, however, we are planning to do that as, as soon as the situation gets better. Okay, and this is where we are standing right now. Uh, this is the third network short course of the program of the network, and it's related to efficient structural design optimization. So we're going to be uh, seeing together some global challenges uh, towards this efficient and effective structural optimization. Um, we've already completed conference one, and um, before the end of the project, we will also have two events to follow for the Optimax project, so which hopefully will be physically um, once uh, the pandemic is over. Great, so uh, thank you very much. Uh, I will be available later on during the coffee break and during the um, during the short course. If you do have any questions about uh, what is an EID, what is a European Industrial Doctorate, what is an ITN, uh, or other questions related to the project, then I would be very happy to answer them. Thank you.